Bill. Beck. What's the most important story of the week? I think the border, um, and I've un- <clears throat> unreported, uh, on BillOReilly.com, we spent a lot of time on it last night on the No Spin News. So what's happening on the border, the southern border, is going to uh, influence the uh, vote coming up in less than two years for the House and the Senate. And what people don't understand, and I didn't even know all this, but I put my super sleuths on it to you know get real down the micro stuff, is that Joe Biden essentially doesn't know – what's happening in Mexico. He doesn't know. He doesn't really care either. If you look at his history about immigration, he's never been a guy that's been proactive in that area. But what's happening is that Mexico itself, now that Trump is gone, because Mexico feared Donald Trump, they feared him. And they basically cooperated by um, taking asylum seekers and letting them stay in Mexico, that was the Trump program. You can't come to the United States um, and ask for asylum and stay. As soon as you ask, we put you across the border and you got to stay in Mexico. You, everybody remembers that, right? Mm-hmm. That's done. So Obrador says, you know, we're not going to do this anymore. Even though the United States is essentially paying for it, Obrador, eh, you know, I, I don't really want to speculate, but – uh, he's told the United States we're not going to cooperate in cartel narcotics investigations. Uh, we're not going to stop the migrants from coming from Central America. And we're not going to keep them here on the northern border uh, while you guys uh, wait to hear their asylum cases. So that's a that's a trifecta right there, right? Mm-hmm. What news organizations have covered that? Um, outside of the outside of the conservative media, I would I would gather none. None of the corporate media have covered it. So then you got to ask yourself, why? Why wouldn't they cover this when this is probably the most important national slash foreign news story there is? That in the space of 37 days, Joe Biden has totally, totally, all right, turned around all the things that Donald Trump did, which pretty much stopped the caravans and the mass mm-hmm. uh, trespassing on the border. What, why wouldn't you report that? Okay, so I may I uh, offer a theory? Um, I remember at uh, Fox News when we were working together, there were things that you would cover that I thought were really important, but I didn't cover them. Uh, and it wasn't that they weren't important. It was because you were taking care of that base, and it allowed me to talk about something else because it was so important and I think there are two other stories that fall into this trifecta of destruction of America. And the one I think most Americans, especially uh, if they are Christian, if they are religious, and if they have children, is the Equality Act. Yeah. That is terrifying. But it's not going to get through. Not Bill, if the Senate. any of that gets through, I just talked to Rand Paul. He said he thought it would. Well, you got to get sixty because they'll filibuster it. So I don't see how it's possible. Did Rand Paul explain that? Uh, no, he didn't. No, he didn't. <laughs> okay. Well, trust me. So <laughs> the reason that I'm not hopping up and down about this because essentially this is a two paragraph story. I think most Americans will want protections for gay people. They don't want them to be bullies. Certainly when I taught high school, I saw that firsthand where kids were effeminate, boys were effeminate, uh, were really, really bullied, and it was horrible, and no one wants that. And the federal government can easily extend protections in the workplace that you can't be fired because you're gay. I don't think anybody's going to oppose that. But what this um, bill does is if you're baking a cake – uh, and a gay guy comes in and says, I want your cake at my wedding. And you go, well, I can't really do that because I don't grieve religiously with um, You're out. gay nuptials. You have to or, you, or, you, or the feds prosecute you. Right. Okay, so that, that's the issue. And that issue uh, is there isn't – I don't think there's anybody – um, outside of the, you know, Murkowski and... and, and well, but there's Romney. more There's more to this. There's also uh, the compelling of speech. 
you know, why can't we just all get along and just use the pronoun that they are asking to use? You remember the high school teacher in yeah, Virginia? But, uh, I- Again, this is not going to it's not going to rise. So the, if this law were passed, it would be pretty much essentially the same law that protects uh, skin color and uh, political persuasion, that kind of thing. No. So no. No. Well, well, with the component that you would have to cooperate with gays, even if you didn't believe. No, it's that. not. It's it's not just it's it's not just that. It is. It is the bathroom issue. It is the uh, people who are in transition competing in in uh, girls' sports. It's uh, medical professionals not being able to say, "Hey, this you know this is not necessarily good for your child to do this." Uh, it is the fact that it doesn't matter if you're a church or a charity. If you won't have you know a transgender person working at your church. Um, you are in in deep, deep trouble. I mean, it's it is. Uh, well, that's why I'm telling you, it's not going to get in. They're not going to do it. They're not going to pass it. The Republicans will block it. You need 60 votes because they'll filibuster it. That's why they want to do it. The filibuster. I'd be shocked if this thing gets passed into law the way the way the House wrote it. You know what happens. I know. They're, that's what you know, I'm. There's, there's a negotiation. Half of it goes they through. take out. They take out all the stuff and and. Um, and then it goes around and around and around and around. Um, but I don't think any of it's going to get in. But okay. All right. Wrong. Okay. I mean, I could All right. Uh, so let's let's go with the other story, the COVID relief package. Yeah. $1.9 trillion, which includes $58 billion of bailout for union pensions. Oh, yeah. All uh, right. I, th- mm-hmm. How about the $4 billion to pay off loans for socially disadvantaged farmers and ranchers. Now, I would claim that that's me. There is no well, one more socially. That, so, yeah, I'm yeah, a rancher, and there's no yeah. one more socially disadvantaged among ranchers than me. I think that you get the first check. Mm-hmm. I believe. Right. Uh, yeah. No, but if if you're white, you need not apply. Um, the uh, the billions for the national endowments, the billions of bail- bailouts for blue states. The $10 million for Native American language preservation, $50 million for environmental justice grants. Uh, it looks like it is the beginning of, uh, of what do you call that uh, when you're getting paid to do nothing but write poetry for Nancy Pelosi? Uh, they welfare. send you a check. Uh, no, no, it's not welfare. It's uh, basic minimum income. Looks for like universal oh, basic okay, income. Yeah, yeah universal basic income. income. Right. It looks like that is also in here. Uh, I mean, it is... It's a mess. It is a mess. That's why it hasn't been passed. And, you know, then then they'll take another, you know, McConnell will, will um, delay it another four or five months. In the meantime, then they'll hope that this vaccine is kicking in, which it is, by the way. If you look yeah. at the stats um, from Christmas Eve to uh, last night, we we put those stats up last night. Um, the uh, number of new cases has declined. Uh, I think it's 60, 70 percent. Um, so anyway, look, I'm, I'm not a guy that spends a lot of time on proposed legislation. Once it comes up for a vote, then I get in because these kinds of things have a way of being delayed. They have a way of change, watered down, all of this stuff. The psychological thing, though, is if you look at the polls, that most people go, well, how come you're holding up to my check? How come? Because they don't take the time to understand, you know, how much insanity is in the bill and how much of a waste of money uh, a lot of this stuff is. Because they don't. You know, people are selfish. People want their money. They're, they're hurting. Um, and so it's a propaganda tool as long as it's held up for the Democratic Party. But that's the country we live in. Again, you go back to the media. The media are going to just say what you said. Are they going to tell the people, oh, well, this is in a bill and this is a waste of time and this is why they're doing it? No. No. And that really is the essential problem that we have in this country right now is that we're, we have a, a news blackout in America. We have a news blackout. I mean, people don't know what the deuce is going on. Because he's, look, when you have a misbehavior accusation against Governor Cuomo and none of the network news covers it and the cable, the two liberal cables don't mention it. Are you kidding me? How do you I called it the Kavanaugh effect? So they're willing to rip up Kavanaugh uh, and destroy his family and his children mm-hmm. 
and they won't even mention this. Mm-hmm. And it was the same thing with Biden. I mean, everything about Trump, any accusation against Trump, bang, everywhere, right? Oh, the the women Biden, were on TV. Yeah, you didn't even Biden have credibility, gets, and you were on TV. Absolutely. Biden gets the same thing, and it's, uh, well, we'll put it in the Hunter Biden capsule and not mention it. So, to me, I mean, I, I stay away from all of this stuff because I don't know what happened. I have no idea what happened. I mean, I can't point a finger at anybody. I'm not saying anything well, but let, let, the, rank, let me, the blackout of the news yeah. is in, absolutely unbelievable 